Chris Massiello from vitamincm.com and today I'm going to show you how to add a drop down list into your cells in Excel. So I have a simple form here that's tracking orders of fruit sales and I've got the day of the week, the quantity of items, the product that was ordered, the price for the items and then a total. But let's say I wanted to track the salesperson that sold these items. And I want to make sure that you select the exact right salesperson's name, so I want to force it from a drop-down list. Well, here's how you would do that. The first thing you do is go a couple columns over and you want to put in the name of your salespeople. Okay, so I have my salespeople here. Now, I want to go to this first cell where I'm going to put the salesperson in, and then go to the Data tab and click data validation then data validation again so it's making sure I put valid data into this cell so allow a list so I want to make sure that the data that goes in here is picked from a list and the source is that list so I'll just highlight the name of the salespeople that I entered and click OK now if I put my cursor in that field, you'll see a little drop down, and I could select the salesperson. All I have to do now is copy that cell, paste it down, and every single one of these rows, I can select my salesperson from a list. Now, one of the things I would do to pretty it up a little bit is just hide my work. So go to this column, right click on it and say hide. And now you won't see that hanging out there so it's not as ugly, but you'll have your nice entry form. Now I could have done this anywhere. I could have done this for products. So I could put my product list somewhere and hide it. I could put uh, prices somewhere and uh, days of the week, whatever information you want. So if you need to dynamically populate a form with valid data from a drop-down list, just use that function. So it's data validation and list.